Hello gorgeous, my name is Jen. Thank you so much for being here. In this video, I'm going to do a full face with Charlotte Tilbury and I'm gonna be reviewing the brand new release, which is her face palette. So if you wanna know what my thoughts are and how it apply, keep on watching. To begin, I'm going to use this eye cream from Charlotte Tilbury. This is called, let me see, Magic Eye Rescue. It's a very thick consistency. I've used it before and uh, I like it. This is a brand new one. And it's creamy and thick at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyelids. And then I'm gonna move on with a serum. I'll follow it up with this Magic Serum. I love the packaging. I use about this much, very gently. And because of the lights and the fact that I am touching my face even a little bit, that's why it's super red. It has nothing to do with the formula of the serum. And I'll follow it up with a Magic Cream. I'm gonna use about this much. This is very thick as well, but I find it so moisturizing and it absorbs very quickly on the face. For foundation, I'm using this one. This is the Flawless Foundation. I am in shade three, which is neutral. I'm gonna go half a pump on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna go in with a brush. This is a very high coverage foundation, but it leaves the most beautiful finish. I'm gonna go in with a Sonia G brush in tapping motions. And you can see that with that little bit of foundation, I cover all my redness. If you see me looking on the side, it's because I am using the, um, I'm using the uh, screen here as a mirror. And look at that. It's so beautiful. And I just realized that I don't have any concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm just gonna use this one, which is my go-to. This is from NARS, the Creamy Concealer. And this is in the shade Creme Brulee. And with another Sonia G brush, I'm gonna start blending all my under eye very gently. For bronzer, I'm going to be using these two shades here. This is from the Nude Gas and Face Palette. I'm going to be using this one and all the perimeter out of my uh, of my face. And this one I'm gonna use for the cheekbones. And I'm gonna use the same brush for both of them. I'm gonna start giving a little dimension to my face. I don't wanna to look too bronzed either. Just a little bit here. I, I still have a little bronze or a little color from, not bronze, tan from the summer. So since I didn't wanna buy another shade of foundation, I'm using the same one that I use almost all year round. Okay, that's a little more blended. And I'm gonna use this one just to carve my cheeks a little bit. I'm gonna use tapping motions and then buff in the product. To make the crease, I'm going to use this color right here, which is the darkest out of the Pillow Talk Dreams quad. And I'm gonna cover mostly the bottom of my eyelid and go up a little bit just to prepare it for the uh, other color that we're gonna use. And now I'm gonna dig in with this brand new release which is the Beautifying Face Palette. This is a gorgeous face palette. Let me see if you can see it with the light. I got the deeper shade they have a lighter one as well. They only came out with two. So you see there's two blushes 
and uh, also a highlighter and what it looks like a blush topper. So this is, um, in the website they say that you can use it for the eyes, just as any other makeup that could be used on the eyes and also on the face. So I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna use this beautiful deep red and I'm gonna use that as an eyeshadow. I'm gonna use that all the way. Now I'm going to take this really high impact highlighter. It has a rosy undertone and I'm gonna go right in the center of the eyelid. So beautiful. Now for the face, I'm gonna use this beautiful shade. Let's see, I like to go very slowly because I'm not really sure how pigmented it is. This is the first time that I used the palette. So far, so good. It looks like it's buildable, so you can go in as intense as you like. And I think this will also be a beautiful eyeshadow shade. So pretty. So with the other side of the brush, I'm gonna go in with what looks like is the topper. So I'm just gonna swipe it like that. And with a smaller brush, I'm going to go in with the highlighter. That beautiful glow. It makes your skin look like glass, which I am loving that look. Look at that. It's very pretty. And it's not, it's interesting because here it looks like it may be a little golden or more in the, uh, I'm not going to say clear, but I would say like, golden but it's actually rose gold which is amazing i think it goes very very well with this palette the one thing that you may notice is that this is just a blush palette so it doesn't really have a um bronzer but you can always complement it with this one so i think these two like i said before complement each other you can use the bronzers from here and the highlighter, this highlighter here, it's uh, more golden than this one. And this one is more rose gold. So there is a uh, room for everyone. I mean, I think it, it would be great for all skin types and uh, skin tones. And I'm not really sure how the lighter one from this release swatches or I I've never seen it. Um, I saw, I mean, I've seen it, but I've never seen it on me. But this one was the one that caught my attention because it has this beautiful color, which is great for fall. It takes, it's pigmented and it's buildable, but it does take a few more swipes. It does take a little more effort than this one for the products to come out. This one, it looks like it's um, a little creamier formula, but it's still beautiful. It's just that it's not as easy to take the product out as this one. In this one, I had no problems. Even with the uh, with the contour and uh, bronzer, I, not, I, no, I had no problems. And these two are very easy. I've tried them with both natural bristles and also synthetic, and they're both great. So if you want to see in uh, the different ways that this will look before purchasing, I would suggest to go to my stories and you will see them there. And I'm gonna finish this look using Glowing Gen. This is one of my favorite formulas. And let's not forget the setting spray. And this is the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial and the quick review of this brand new face palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's beautiful, it's great for fall and winter and uh, I think it complements the other one very well. If you like to see more of this content, I suggest that you subscribe and leave me a comment to see what you want to see next. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.